Good morning guys and thank you for tuning in to what should be my fourth studio vlog um, but today being the 8th of January it's rather cold so I'm pitched up in front of the fire um, to make up today's orders and then I will look at planning um, the rest of my week and see what I need to get done. I need to do some organising because we need to um, decorate the area that I work in um, we've just done some boxing in of our electric meter in that area um, but yeah I do want to create some more space uh, so that I can get some more products in ready to ship um, rather than making to order so that turnaround times can be quicker um, and also I'd like to introduce more products this year um, you will have seen from the last vlog that um, I've got some greeting cards they should be launching this coming Friday um, so this vlog should have a bit of prep work in that ready for the launch um, which will include I need to take some photos for them like the product photos for the listings on Etsy and my Shopify website um, what else do I need to do I need to sort out the descriptions um, and I think that might be it um, I, well I need to create some um, perhaps reels and posts for social media for them as well um, but yeah so let's get cracking with these orders and then we'll see where we go from there working on my lap I've got these charms to make necklaces out of Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Um, this morning I need to um, take some photos of my new cards that I need to um, prepare to launch on Friday. But the light, as you can see, it's quite bright today and it's the first time it's been um, clear skies in quite a few days where I live. Um, it's been very grey and rainy. Um, although it's cold, lovely blue sky and yeah so I'm going to take advantage of some natural light and get the product photos for the three cards done um, and then I can prepare the listings to go live on Friday. I've just finished taking some photos of the cards um, there was really good light although I did use a ring light as well as you probably saw me waving that around um, but I will need to just sort of tweak the photos a little bit and edit them I took them on my iPhone which is just an iPhone 13 but it takes really good photos and it's quick and easy to edit them so that I can then prepare my listings um, that's one thing that I want to focus on um, in 2024 is better product photos 
because that's the first thing customers and people browsing will see on Etsy or your website. But talking about 2024 goals, I would like to make a separate um, video regarding that. Um, I've got lots of things swirling around in my head and some of it is more um, realistic, well, not realistic, but perhaps more short term achievable and then some things are more long term goals um, which aren't achievable at the moment. They're not realistic right now, but you know, we'll see how the year takes us. But let's get on to editing the photos. How plain is this wall? This is um, basically just along my landing, as you can see. Um, and we are due to decorate this area. Right, so the parcels that I've got, let me just collect them. Here they are. Well, here's those bits and I've got some more as well. Um, now the first one is very important. So it's an overhead, what is it? An overhead phone mount with stand and a ring light attached to it. So this will hopefully mean that I can film better quality um, videos whilst I'm making jewellery because it's quite difficult um, to position my phone or a camera that sort of gets a good angle really whilst I'm making jewellery. So I'm hoping this will help and hopefully it will help um, create more reels as well of making jewellery and other products and packing and things like that. So next up a couple of purchases that weren't aren't a package but I got some these are from Primark but you can get them in other places as well. They're the storage tubs that clip together. I got a yellow one and a purple one. So I can add a bit more colour in here. So I've got yellow and purple that I've purchased new, but I do have um, some pink ones already. Got a bit of a collection of these going now, um, but yeah, I just like the colours of them. I use this one in particular to store my jewellery bags and I'm running very low. However, moving on to my next parcel. I think I split the packet open as well whilst opening it. But basically, I have ordered um, 100 more of these. I normally buy 100 at a time. Last time I bought 200 because I got pink and purple last time. Um, that was because I wanted some purple for some of my Halloween products. But they're pretty much gone now. Um, I think I would like to continue to get um some more purple and i've had blue in the past like a powdery baby blue and i might get like a lemon a yellow lemon color for spring so yeah it'd be quite nice to have the choice of four for different products let's pop things in and restock These particular ones are, uh, what are they? I think they're seven by nine centimeters and they're like a velour um, and they're, and then they're, they're printed on. Moving on to the next item this is a really bizarre purchase but it's an ice cube tray which i am not going to be using for ice cubes um so we'll cover that one in a later vlog because i'm still waiting for some supplies to 
arrive but it is to assist me with some jewellery making hopefully these should be some new charms that I've ordered yay okay so these are slightly different from my usual style so I've got a number of new charms here and my thinking was uh, my thinking behind these was Valentine's they are different from my usual style however I wanted to add a bit of colour and fun to um, a new collection basically I'll still be doing my stainless steel jewellery but I do want to incorporate some more colour we'll see how these pan out and I was thinking of Valentine's Day bracelets but they're quite chunky and which is still fine for bracelets but I was thinking maybe also necklaces I could do pinks only or I could do multiple colours got the purples and the reds so yeah I think I might do a few of them and now it's time to pack more of these I want to pack them so that it keeps them flat and protected because if they're left on a shelf to pack as and when orders come in I'm worried about sort of the corners getting caught um, and things like that so I'm going to pack them all in advance and it will also help with shipping when orders come in um, if it's card only orders I can get them shipped out um, within a day or two see if it's with necklace orders and things like that it might take a few more days but yeah be a bit more productive or be a bit more efficient if I pack them all now and I can store them properly um, and it will allow the, the dispatch process to be quicker so here we go I already did the um, I heart you ones in the previous vlog so it's just the have a magical day and you are magical I can't even remember what my cards are now 